Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review. So as you can tell, we are looking at Supply Squad. I don't like saying Supply Squad. I'll probably still call it Supply Unit. I don't know. Just roll off the tongue better. Slop supply Unit. Like, Supply Squad. It's too much S. Too much S. I don't know. But yes, yeah, so this card just recently got released in the starter deck. And wow, that is a nice starter deck. I mean it. That is, that is some quality shit. I, did, I just saw it this uh, this past weekend. And wow, I am very impressed with the, you know, the quality of it. I mean, I guess it's $20 for a reason. But instead of that flimsy little paper plastic mat you can just throw around, you actually get a nice little rubber mat. And it, you know, tells you all the different uh, phases and has the pendulum. It looks really nice. And, and I was very impressed with it. And of course, you know, cards got to change. Uh, I, I'm not really a big fan of the change, but yeah, because of the pendulums, they, and now they move the first edition text down. So, as you can tell, if you can see the image on this card, if you haven't seen the actual image of the card, the first edition's at the bottom near the near the number. It's not, you know, where it usually is. So, now you're going to be like, with the new cards are going to be like, oh, you have this in rarity, and you look at it, like, oh, yeah, I have this card. You look at it, be like, ugh, it's not first edition. But, like, oh, yeah, it is. It's like right there. Like, oh, yeah, I forgot. They put it down there. Anyway, this card came in the starter deck, and it's probably the most important card in the starter deck. I mean, sure, you get your Magician of Chronomaly and Astromancy. Yes, they got their freaking names changed, too. I'll probably still call them Chronoma Chronomaly and Astromancy. Like, Stargazer and Timegazer? Like, Stargazer, I guess. Timegazer? Whatever. So, this card is probably the most sought-after card, and especially in the stud deck, since you don't get Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, all you get is regular Odd Eyes Dragon, which isn't even that good. You don't even get the best Pendulum Monster, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, you gotta wait until Duel's Alliance, and then it'll probably be the cover card, I don't know, maybe the Ghost Rare, I don't know. But this card is probably the most sought-after card, and when we first saw this card, we were like, oh my god, the card is broke. And... Then it started disappearing. It started slowly fading away, and a new card that was even more shocking and shocked the hell out of us appeared after this card appeared, and that was Soul Charge. So people kind of forgot about Supply Squad. So I'm going to go over Supply Squad and deem whether it's broken. With it. So this is a continuous spell card, and it reads, once per turn, if a monster, parentheses, monster, so simultaneous, you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect, draw a card. Such a simple effect. But the problem is, is that, do we have enough room to run it? That is the big question. And that will be the determinant on whether this card will ever get addressed or not. Do we have enough room to be running a card like this? Now, the, the thing with the card is, is that it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. Psychologically, it messes with your opponent. And game, and Yu-Gi-Oh is a kind of game of, you know, psychology, if you don't know, you know. If I set no back row, that's fine. If I set four back row, yeah, you know, you're, the mentality of what you're thinking is totally different. And, you know, just because psychologically that's what you see. If I set a monster and I activate a supply squad, psychologically you're thinking... Wow, okay, well if I kill their monster, they're going to get to draw a card, they're going to get to even out. So the more I kill their monsters, the more resources they're getting. Eventually, I'm going to run out of resources compared to them. And that's definitely where the problem lies. Is that it kind of messes with your opponent psychologically because of how good this card is. I'm not saying that this card isn't good, this card is great. It's just, A, what decks have room to run it? You know, we run the 40 card deck and... It's the wrong time. This card could be a terrible, terrible time at the wrong time. And that's the problem with it, is that do you want to commit the room to running it? You know, some people would rather run, you know, three Reckless Greed or three Upstart Gun before even touching this card. It's because of how slow and unresponsive it is to the current situation that it's being ran in. If one of your monsters isn't destroyed, you're not drawing. And continuous spell cards are considered a neck because... If they're not activating at the current moment to net you a plus, they're considered a neg because it reveals one of your cards, and it's not doing anything. It might as well just be nothing. And in the right, in the wrong situation, this card is nothing, and it reveals one of your cards. So you know you have five resources in your hand now because the new rule. You go ahead and play this. Now you got four. So uh, I know that supply squad. Now all I have to do is know about the other four cards in his hand, and then I can be up just knowledge wise. 
So, that's where another problem with this card lies. Now, what's really good about this card, and, you know, depending on, you know, how useful this card will be in this upcoming format, and its upcoming use, is that it stacks. And that is definitely the problem. They couldn't just put a little text on the end, you can only activate one supply squad, one, the effective supply squad, once per turn. They couldn't add that on. If they would have tacked that on, I would have probably no problem, I would have no problem with this card. Alright, run through it, sure, you only get one of them. But this card stacks. So... If your opponent goes supply squad, supply squad, supply squad, and plays a monster and you kill it, or even if they kill it, so, you know, like, cards like Ubel that like the white, or cards like, uh, Scraps, or Yang Zing, they stack. So, oh, you killed my one monster, I draw three cards. Yes, did I just plus two? Because, yeah. That is the problem with supply squad. And if it would ever get hit, that would be the reason why. It's because it stacks. One, one is fine. One is fine. It messes with your opponent psychologically, but it could be played around with, and, you know, it's not that bad. Three, three, you, you don't ever touch your opponent's monster, because they're just going to plus. They're going to completely out-resource you, because every single time you kill a monster, they're plussing two. And, and, and that's what I don't like about this card, is that it rewards you for do, for being bad. For, for doing a basic game mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh, it rewards you. Destroying monsters is a basic game mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh. Whether it be by card effect or by battle, shit gets destroyed. And when it gets destroyed, either by battle or by card effect, you're plusing? You mean that because I'm beating you, you get rewarded because I'm beating you? That doesn't make any sense. But that's what the card does. It rewards you for being bad, in a sense. I mean, it's a little drastic to say that, but in a sense, it rewards you for being bad. So, whenever your shit's destroyed, by battle or by card effect, that's another catch. By battle or by card effect, not even your opponents. Not even your opponents. Even the hands have to be by your opponents. So, if I have a fire hand, you summon a monster, I torrental. Nope, I don't get the effect. By your opponent. No, this card, period. 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 So, scraps, if they want to go stupid and destroy their cards and go off with the scrap factor and go off with the supply squad and draw and plus and draw and plus, they get it. And that's definitely what the problem is. And just the fact that it stacks is a huge problem. So, if this card ever does anything in this format, and that's the thing, is that, A, I don't think anybody wants to run it like that, and B, I don't think any of the top decks will run it like that, because it's a kind of a slow card, you know? It's, it's Think of it like this. Think of it kind of like Reckless Greed. I want to put it like Reckless Greed. Sit this card next to Reckless Greed. You get one Reckless Greed, and it's kind of like... Eh, one reckless greed, man. I could play it. I could draw two, but then I'm skipping my next two draw phases. It's the neg one. Oh man. Oh man. And that's the same thing with this. It's one. It's kind of eh. But then when it stacks, when you get multiple supply squads, when you get multiple reckless greed, now you're cooking with fire. So think of it like that. I'm gonna put reckless greed in the same boat as supply squad, where if you get multiple of it, then oh my god, it's fucking broke. It's fucking awesome. But if you only get one of it, it's kind of eh. And that's what I pretty much how I think of this card. So, uh, I feel like it's kind of too inconsistent. It's kind of too uh, not going to be played enough. And like I said, comparing it to its brother, Reckless Greed, who is also still at 3 despite not being at, at 3. not Should not be at 3 because of what it can pull off. We might as well just put it in the same boat. So, I really feel like Supply Squad really won't do anything. And people will, you know, try to say in the boat, oh yeah, 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 but then they'll be like, yeah, 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 you know what, no. And it'll probably just stay at 3. But if it ever does anything broke or any relevant thing, we just go ahead and put it in the same boat as uh, Reckless and be like, hey, it should be limited to 1. And then that debate will come up. So, uh, this card's definitely better in a slower format, because faster formats are kind of way too fast for this. And a slower format where you're playing methodically, you know, oh, I destroy your one card and I get the plus and I do this, that's where it's good. But in faster formats, no, don't even try it, because you'll get dust. You, if, you're, if, you, if it's a faster format, take out your three supply squads and put in some three maxis, because that's what you're going to be drawing off of, not this. Because it's only once per turn. So you may have multiple monsters. I kill one, you draw a card, and then I start killing your other ones. You're not draw, it's not every time, it's just once per turn. But if it's just you're killing one monster, and I'm only killing one monster turn, and you have three of these, then you plus in that two, then yeah. So, it's more of a slower format card. Um, it's another one of those cards that should have never been made, though, but 
Um, and I, I, I don't work for Konami, so Konami decided to make it. So like I said, it probably won't be hit, nor will anybody really play it, but it's it's another one of those cards. It's just one of those cards, so it'll probably fall to the wayside, and it'll probably pop its head up every once in a while, but it's kind of like Reckless. That's exactly how I'll compare it to. It's pretty much Reckless, a new form of Reckless. So tell me what you guys think about the yeah, can't talk. Tell me what you guys think about Supply Squad. Thank you for supporting me and everything I do on my channel. I love you guys. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another car review. Spoiler alert, I'm going to be looking at Solemn Advice. Thanks for watching.